What's going on everybody it's mr hd here and we are back with village drift to kill it hope you guys had a wonderful week and we have probably one of the most unique builds i've ever done um this is the most by far i think it is the most expensive car in the game it is the ferrari 250 gto it costs 10 million credits or 20 million credits something stupid um and i just want to address two things one song of the week this song was called Wrong Side of the Badge by Hello Marks. Unfortunately, I can't link you anything because this band doesn't exist anymore. It was an indie band that was based uh, in my hometown around 2008, and unfortunately split up about 2009, 2010. So I got nothing, no Facebook links, no nothing, which is unfortunate. So just go, go scour the internet and see if you can find them something. I think there's something on MySpace. I don't know. Um, anyways, and the second is everyone's going to be wondering why I have 999 whatever credits a billion credits um it turns out my paint owns ended up selling for 910 million credits i had 100 million from storefront sales and such so that's how i got my money and now because i get about at least a million a week or two million a week it will be replenishing itself so it's not me modding i'm not modding get that thought out of your head <clears throat> now that we're finally on the second lap this car is pretty freaking neat um it's has the V8 from the Ferrari 360, I think. I think that's what Ferrari is from. Um, and I did that because basically I don't really trust those old V12s. They don't really make a lot of torque. And Ferrari engines have that problem anyway. So I figured I'd skip the middleman and just, you know, do it. And I built, I ended up building the V12 if you've seen the video. I had to speed it up a little bit because of that. So it, uh, it was finished the same time the, so yeah, the same time the song would. But uh, I ended up speeding it up, and it turned out okay. Um, it's kind of tricky as to where it grips up a little bit. I think a little bit more tuning with the gearing. Maybe a little bit more power. Um, this car could be really, really, really good. Um, but I did have to downsize the tires from 305s to like 385s. 
um, because A, the front tires are too knobby and it just there's such a lack of grip, um, and B, there's, such a, there's too much grip at the rear. Um, but now, especially on this track, it felt fine. Um, it's a little twitchy because of the tires in the front. They're not wide enough, in my opinion. There's not like a really uh, balanced amount of grip in the front. But uh, it is pretty freaking fun to use for multiple reasons. One, because A, like I just said, it's a little unpredictable. So that makes it challenging, but it's not impossible. Um, on like a car that either the video for personal projects are either going to come out soon or has come out already. I don't want to spoil it. That's a professional. I'm sorry. It's 4 a.m. though. Um, but, and it is what it is, you know what I mean? Like, people are in this lobby, but all Nissans, I believe, or Nissans, or whatever, fuck off. <laughs> um, and I'm in a Ferrari, a 10 million credit, or 15 or 20 million credit car. To me, that's just the coolest freaking thing in the world. Um, but, you know, like most cars I do, that are a little off the beaten path. This thing was not meant to be one and done tuned. Uh, it is going to take me probably a little bit of tweaking to get this to where I really, really like it. But at the point right now where we stand, it's not bad. You know, I could pull it out in the lobby and, and do half decent. I think I won this one. I won a second. One of the two. I think the guy who won was only doing a little bit better than me. But um, I wasn't really confident enough in this car. Um, and it really sucks because I wanted to make the rear wheels a little bit, uh, the rims a little bit bare. Um, but I couldn't because it would look freaking goofy. And I hated it. So... I don't know, uh, if you guys have lots and lots and lots of credits, it's worth trying, but if not, then uh, don't worry about it, you're not really missing that much. But uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later, bye.